Hey, I'm Michael. Welcome to the last video in my three-part website and product series. If you haven't seen the first two videos, there's a playlist link in the description. As you know, I've teamed up with GoDaddy to work with small businesses and enthusiasts across Toronto to launch my first lifestyle product, all while building my perfect website and online store using GoDaddy's website builder. I am really happy with the current state of my website, but it does need some product shots and that feature video to really bring the site to life. Click the link in the description bar down below to get started on your GoDaddy website with their one month free trial of their website and marketing product. It is so easy to sign up and there's no credit card needed. So today we are at Silka and Dee's place. They are local candle makers in Toronto and today they are pouring my candle for the very first time. I'm so excited. Let's go see, come on. Silka and Dee welcomed us into their home, which duels as their candle pouring fulfillment center. Upon arriving, Silka and Dee gave us a walkthrough of their day-to-day -day operations as local candle makers. First, we'll cut this guy, and now we need these elastics to hold the mold together. Let's just make sure no wax pours out or, you know, nothing spills and it keeps its shape. You want to open it? Sure. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so, what do I, so I just pull on this, yeah, the yeah, outer just open like here? That. Yeah, you just kind of peel it open. There you go. There you go. Now grab it. Oh, very Perfect. exciting. Yeah. Wow. We can talk about how it's like much bigger than usual body candles out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's more interesting to work with because of the size and it requires a little bit more expertise. Small candles are easier to make, but there's a big pour and like a bigger operation. And that's why it fits so well in the hand too. Like you can feel it in your palm, right. the weight of it. Yeah. And you hold it. Yeah. It feels more like a sculpture than a candle sometimes. It's just, we know the little imperfections about it, but we also at the same time know how much care it goes into. Whereas when you buy a candle from a big store, that's usually poured by a machine. No one's like sitting around and waiting for it to cool to see what's coming out of it and like enjoying that process. Whereas when they come out, it's like always like a new surprise, you know? Yeah, you never know what's gonna come out of the mold, but that's the beauty of it. I just know that Silka and Dee have the experience needed to hand pour my body candle because, well, they're used to dealing with obscure candles. After our candle pouring demo, Dee wanted to get a better sense for our product rollout. Well, it sounds like the, the, the timeline fits in general because the launch of this will be on June 7th. So mm -hmm. hopefully if we could be shipping things out a week after or two weeks after that, then yeah. I'm happy. How so, many candles do you think you need for the launch day? Um, I mean, I guess it, it would probably be helpful to have over 100 yeah. for the launch uh, date. Yeah. And then that, that to me feels like at least we could get those first initial orders out and then go for Before that. leaving, Silka suggested that I include a frequently asked questions page on my website since my product is both flammable and it melts. So later that evening, I got started on my website's FAQ page, which was so easy to create with GoDaddy's website builder. Now that we're moving forward with a purchase order from Silka and Dee, I need to figure out which type of packaging material I'm going with. So over the last few weeks, Chris has been kind enough to collect different packaging material so that I could see what packaging material I wanna use for my body candle. So the very first thing I have is tissue paper. In terms of protection of the product, it doesn't really do much. And this is kind of like a plasticky version of tissue paper. It's not very eco-friendly and I think this kind of looks ugly too. These are really standard. I feel like most products that you buy online, if they need to be protected, you use a bubble wrap like this. It just provides a lot of buffer. Like look at the extra space that's created around the candle. If anything hits it, it's not gonna break. Now this is something that is a lot more eco-friendly. So this is just 100% recycled paper. So I worry that if we have something like this, it could possibly indent the candle. So that leaves me with recycled crinkly paper. So Silka and Dee were the ones that recommended something like this to us. They use packaging material just like this. And then this sort of sits in the box, almost like a bed. And I think we're gonna go with this for packaging. So these are the boxes that we bought for the product. We had to buy it in a bulk order of 50. I really hope that this fits because I don't know what I'm gonna do with the other 49 boxes, so fingers crossed. Okay, that's actually easy. This is actually a lot easier than I thought. Okay, and then you'd have like the body candle, and you put it in. I was worried the box was gonna be too small for it. I guess we could just fill that with packaging material, but I might take a look online just to see if I can find a slightly smaller box. I love this. Today is the day. We are finally shooting the product shots for my body candle. I got a product light box online to shoot really bright and crisp photos. So going off of what Silka and Dee told me yesterday, I really should be including a lot of product shots that include a plate or just something to catch all the wax drip while it burns, just to communicate to the customer again that this is something that you should be burning on top of a platform.
I have a whole bunch of sections on my GoDaddy site where it's just like a strip of images. It kind of helps to break up different sections. So I'm just trying to grab a whole bunch of horizontal shots that I can insert there. Just trying to find the right light for my candle because I, like it's 3D printed, so I want to, I want the shadows to cast where they're supposed to get casted. So I'm just playing around with different levels of light. Like if I go too bright, I feel like you lose all the definition. There we go, this is nice. Yes, this is like, this is lifestyle, beautiful. I post this all over social media. I put this on a flyer. Oh my God, yes. So now I'm gonna spend some time adding in some assets into the website. So I'm gonna start with my team bio. So I'm gonna work on the team page. So on my right hand side, I have all of my team bios. So myself, uh, Chris, who leads operations, and Liz, who manages all of our projects. And I'm gonna also fill in their images. And I can easily zoom in or zoom out how I please. So I don't have to worry about cropping my images before importing it into GoDaddy. I can just do all of that here, which just saves me a lot of time and media management. So now I'm gonna take some of the photos we took with the product light box and fix up my homepage. But first I take a quick look through my photos to select my favorites. There were so many great shots, so it was difficult to choose. After that, I apply a general edit in Lightroom to increase their quality and resolution. I'll probably get into finer editing at another time, but this will just streamline getting the photos up. Then I customized a bunch of assets on my website, starting with my website images. It took me a little while to find the right placement for each product shot, and I'll probably keep changing it, but this is looking a lot better to me. So I have my body candle sample here. This is one sample that we got from Silka and Dee when we visited them earlier this week. I really didn't know how to price this. The advice that I've been given from multiple candle makers is to price this as more of like a luxury product. Like I wanna make sure that this is an accessibly priced product, but at the same time I have to balance that with like the monetary cost, the development, and the time and labor that's been put into creating this product because it's a custom mold of my body. So that, you know, there's been a lot of work that's gone into this. So the price that I have landed on is $40. That is a really competitive price for candles of this size on the market. In working with Silka and D and their sort of like shipping pipeline, we were able to land on $10 flat rate shipping for Canada and the US. So if you'd like to pick it up for $40 plus $10 flat rate shipping, It'll be available. After my 30 day free trial of GoDaddy's website builder, MikeReetsy.com is ready to launch. I am over the moon with my feature video that tells the story of the development and creation of my body candle. MikeReetsy.com has been given a new breath of life with GoDaddy's clean and simple website builder. My homepage is sharp and captivating and my online store is up, running and ready to take orders. I hope you visit the newly redesigned MikeReetsy.com, check out my new online store, and maybe add Mike's Body Candle to your cart. Thank you to GoDaddy for being a fantastic sponsor of small businesses. Head to GoDaddy.ca to start your free trial.